Hello, and I'm back, and today I decided to explore how, what is the chance of getting each skin with the acid spitter. So many, many people have been asking, because you know, we, people know like, oh, this one is rare, and this one is rare, and this one is rare, but it doesn't have to say like how rare it is. So I decided to do this. So um, I have a server. So servers aren't free. If you if you want one, there is a 24-hour period where you don't have to pay anything, but then you have to pay for it. I think monthly or something like that. Uh, so on that server, I have I I got two accounts and I hatched the dragon hundred times. So I would like see what is the chance of getting uh, each dragon because you can actually grow the dragon and you can also kill the dragon as an admin. So that was like kind of how I did it. So you wouldn't wonder about it. And also keep in mind, the Acid Spitter is not a free dragon and this game, Day of Dragons, isn't free either. So the game is $20 and the, uh, uh, the Acid Spitter is $8. So if you want, I, I will obviously, I will be making a video about Shadow Skills too, even though this video took a while to make, so maybe not that soon, but I will be making a video of hatching 100 Shadow Scales to see what is the probability of their skins. Also in the new update, you can actually choose uh, some of the skins uh, when you're hatching. You can immediately be like, I want this one. There's three options, uh, so you can choose those instead of just going random, if you like one of those. It's pretty much kind of like how uh, in School of Dragons, I often make like unboxing a mystery chest in School of Dragons, and I just love unboxing those, so I'm like, you know what? This game might not have mystery chests, but I'll make it a mystery chest. I do not care. So that's how <laughs> this went. So uh, in the background, you're already seeing how it looks like. So pretty much if it's just a common dragon, I'm not going to age it up. I'm not going to show it or anything. But if it's a rare one, I will show it uh, as an adult as well.
So now that that's over, you can see what were the chances of getting each one. So obviously this is only a hundred. To be like a hundred percent sure, you would need to do so much more. But this is just to kind of see like around how many is there. So I got Iconic Dark was the one I got the most, which uh, I mean, I guess makes sense. It's a common one. And um, also Dark Meadow is quite uh, often there. But I would say the Iconic and Iconic Dark, the problem with them is they're quite bright. You can see them because they have those like very, uh, very seeable details on, uh, on the dragon. But if you're a beginner or you just like want to blend in with the background, you should just choose Dark Meadow because that one you can choose choose and uh, it perfectly fits in with pretty much almost any background except mountains uh, so if you're in nature and especially if you're a beginner choose dark meadow and then we have the other ones so the dark forest i got nine times burnt sky six times painted four and uh, my personal favorite is the ginger uh which is only three times that's the rarest one out of these i think maybe i mean only really the people who made the game know exactly what the probability is but this is like sort of like it it's kind of funny i mean i really like the ginger i think it's very cute even though it's not the best at like camouflaging and while I was at it, while I was hatching uh, those dragons, I decided to see what are the hatching locations, because I was kind of wondering, I was wondering if, for example, the uh, the, the for dark forest, would you would spawn in a forest or something like that. It seems kind of, yeah, but also no, I, I think it might be just a coincidence. I don't think there was anything, I mean, it's kind of hard to even recognize what's a forest and what's a meadow or whatever. So these, this is the map of... There's not that many. There's only 16 uh, hatching locations that I got. Maybe there's more, but they're all sort of around uh, the center of the map, which makes sense. And that's it for that. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, I will be making a one with shadow scales. It might take me a while. We'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye.